We have to talk. There is another elephant in my life. <laughs> Imagine for a moment that if I want to send an email to a person that uses Gmail, I would have to have a Gmail account. The same for Outlook, iCloud, and any other email provider. That wouldn't be productive. It would be strange, right? Well, this is precisely how social media works. If I want to interact uh, with someone on Twitter, I have to have a Twitter account. The same is true for Facebook, YouTube, and many others. Well, what if I told you not all social media work like that? Mastodon may look like Twitter. Some people even refer to it as a Twitter alternative but it's much more than that. Imagine for a moment that you want to follow someone on Instagram, but you don't have an Instagram account. You have a Twitter account. Imagine if you could follow that person's pictures on your Twitter feed. This is how Mastodon and other social media based on the ActivityPub protocol work. Let me show you. This is Leo Laporte's PixelFed Pictures. It's a service similar to Instagram. I don't have an account here, but I can follow his post on my Mastodon account. All I have to do is open my Mastodon account, look for his username here, Leo Laporte at pixelfed.social. Here he is. If I click here, I can see the same pictures. These pictures are from that service. And I can click here to follow him. Every time he posts a picture there, I'll see the picture on Mastodon. Isn't this amazing? And there's also alternatives for YouTube, groups, Meetup, and so many other services. Now let's go a little further into this rabbit hole. Many of the services, they have what's called instances. For example, if we take a look here at this page where we can log in or create a Mastodon account, you see that there are many options. Why is that? Why so many servers? Why so many Mastodons to join? Well, anyone can create an instance. I can use Mastodon technology and create, let's say, vladcampos.social and invite people to be part of my server. And the beauty here is even if you are part of my server, you can interact with other people from other Mastodon servers, and even, like I showed before, with people from different services, as long as they use the ActivityPub protocol. For example, the European Commission has a server. I follow them, I follow the posts on my Mastodon social account. I told you, this is a rabbit hole. <laughs> but why create a server instead of joining one that already exists? Okay, you can do that. That's what I did. No problem there, but you have to agree with the rules of that server. If you want your own rules, or let's say you want official accounts for the members of your company, your institution, your political party, running your own server would be a good idea. You would have your own domain name and you would be able to give accounts to anyone in your company or institution. And again, just like when we email another person, we would be able to follow anyone from any of these servers. This is why they also call the service a federation, because I can interact with different people from different servers. I find this so interesting. For example, the blue check mark some people have on Twitter, that wouldn't be a thing anymore because just like the email, the name that comes after the at symbol is the name of the company or the institution. So we know that person belongs to that company, to that institution, to that organization. That's so cool. Okay, but there are some problems. First of all, it's difficult to choose a home. I think that's why I ended up choosing the original server, mastodon.social. 
but there are so many options there and the good and the good news is that you can follow and be followed and interact with anyone from any server and if you want to it's possible to move from one server to the other bringing your posts and everything else i never tried that but i plan to try it the other problem is finding people to interact with because everything is separated in these different servers and there is no suggestions of people to follow like we see on other social media like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's up to us to find people to follow, to interact with. It's lower, it's harder, but I like it. I think you can tell that I'm enjoying it. I don't believe I would get to know many of the nice people I'm interacting with in other platforms. And finally, there's the problem that some servers can be the wild west. But it's not that hard to figure out. Just read the rules and you understand what happens there. <laughs> well, that's it. This was a different video here on the channel, but I thought it was important to share this information and also shed some light on this topic. It's pretty interesting and it's an alternative to what we have out there. If you want to see more videos like this or maybe even more information about Mastodon and other activity pub, how to create accounts and things like that, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.